average person on the street probably hears of any money laundering or AML as something involving financial institutions, banks, and potential sanctions for violations. What they don't often tragically realize is that human trafficking and money laundering have real basic human impact, real tragedies of individuals that are being trafficked and basically sold into all sorts of different forced labor situations and in some cases forced into sexual relationships. And that the average American needs to know that the public-private partnerships that are often led or assisted by Thomson Reuters has a direct impact on improving the lives of the survivors and victims of these particular pernicious criminal activities. If you look at it on the grand scheme of things and you start to think about it, you know, geopolitical, plus not to mention your state and local government, there's so many things that it touches. AML can be used to really start to dissolve human trafficking and to make sure that you're not you're not dealing with somebody that's, you know, has human traffic, that's involved in human trafficking, so you're not funding it. What people should know about AML is the fact that, that um, the banks are used as either a facilitation tool or a detection mechanism for uh, money laundering. And so understanding the basics of money laundering and anti-money laundering and, and how to become a detection mechanism versus being a facilitation tool is really important. It's more along the lines of the see something, say something. More often than not, uh, someone standing behind a line and they hear uh, potentially um, you know, an elder financial exploitation taking place in front of them. That's AML. Um, so say something, be part of it, and uh, uh, know that if you're transacting in a normal means, uh, it'll have no negative impact on you whatsoever. From a public-private partnership perspective and how do you deal with human trafficking and how do you really go after it, it's just that you've got to have a partnership. The majority of the rings that have been busted um, for human trafficking and broken down has been because there had been a strong partnership between public and private sectors.